see shit right now, but good morning. Where is my contact? It is a little, it's almost nine in the morning. We are running down to get a very quick like grab and go hotel breakfast. I think that's all it is anyway. But they close at 9.30. We don't have a lot of time, so we're gonna just throw on some clothes and we're gonna head out. We're currently in Sanford, Florida because we're getting the auto train today from Florida to DC because we're in the process of moving. So if you're new, hi, I'm Jill. Um, I'm moving from Florida to Rhode Island. So um, the next part of the move is putting our cars on the train that have all our shit in it and ourselves obviously <laughs> taking the train up to dc so that's gonna be today's vlog never done this it's a very long drive but we'll talk about it more after i get food and coffee i need coffee you got me yeah do you want coffee okay for you i don't know it's flavored if you get one you probably want just like a normal one i don't know it looks like we're splitting coffee okay. I'm gonna get a little creamer. I'm gonna do a French vanilla. Oh no, bad idea. Do you want any cream of any kind? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna want any cream? Do you feel a little better? It's good for me. All right. Okay. Um, I think that's it, right? Nothing else needs to go in the bag? Mm -hmm. Okay, I am ready for the day. I am ready to take on the train. Um, I am officially starting the vlog. Hi. Um, we just got our suitcases ready to go. I don't know if you can see the hotel room. There's like a little kitchenette in there. We picked like a super cheap hotel to stay in because we're like in Sanford, Florida. We got here at almost like 10.30 last night. Like all we did was sleep, wake up, and now we're leaving. So we didn't like want anything like super fancy or anything so save money where you can so the train starts loading cars around noon and checkouts at 11 so we're kind of just gonna like drive over there maybe we'll stop somewhere that coffee was not strong enough i need another one it did not hit me but like i said we're taking the auto train so it leaves from sanford florida up to dc and then we have to drive from dc to rhode island i think i said this earlier i don't remember i was very tired um and yeah, our, our, the cars are packed, like full to the top. Like it is just stuffed. But this is like the second part of the move. It's the easiest part of the move, honestly. It's sitting on a train for 20 hours. So this should be fun, I'm excited. I'm so excited for this. I haven't taken a train since like when we were in Europe. That was like years ago. So I'm excited to get back on a train. I did like a light makeup. Um, I, I did like my eyebrows, um, mascara, a little blush and concealer and that's it. I didn't use powder or anything like that. Just wanted to put a little on just to feel a bit more refreshed. So off we go to the train. I'm excited. Off we go. We're still almost 18 hours away from Rhode Island and we still have to stop in DC over here and then drive the rest of the way. It is such a sunny day out and of course it's like raining. This is classic Florida for you in case you're wondering what it's like living here. <laughs> Somehow it's raining. I think I'm gonna get an oldie favorite. Lately I've been doing like the toasted vanilla shake and espresso and I do like a shake and espresso with only oat milk and um, vanilla cold foam, sweet cream, cold foam on top. Normally I just do that. I think I'm gonna do my old white mocha. I haven't had that in a long time. So I'm feeling like switching it up a little bit. I forget they can see you through these. Thank you for all the food items today. Um, no food today, thank you. Can I please have um, a grande shake and espresso? Can I please do it with um, oat milk and no classic? Gotcha. And two pumps of white mocha, please. Actually, can I, sorry, can I just do one pump of white mocha? Just one? Yeah, I just realized I didn't want too much sweetness. <laughs> All right, anything else? That's it, thank you. I can't believe I'm moving today. That is just wild. I cannot believe it. I gotta get my money out. I got cash, like, at work, like, 
awesome tips. And I like worked at a place where you don't really like get tips. It's usually just like in the check already. So it's weird having cash on me, but I'm gonna use it because why not? It feels like free money and I feel like that's dangerous. Like I shouldn't feel like that. Like I should not feel like I have free money ever. Coffee has been secured, cheers. I had a whole hotel coffee, but it unfortunately did not cut it the way it needed to. We've made it to the auto train. I think that's where they put our cars, in that thing. Somehow, we got here early. Spilled coffee on myself, somehow. I'm just ready to like, get on the train and to check in. All right, here we go. Time to board the train, I'm so excited. Off we go. Here we go, now we got it. <laughs> Grab myself a little turkey club on a hoagie. This looks so good. That looks good too. Loaded grilled cheese, ugh. Mmm, one bite? This is good. I like it. We ask for your safety while the power is down. Please find a seat and remain seated. These are the tiniest bathrooms ever, but we've made it to the train. I had to carry my bags up the tiniest staircase. I have not been able to show like anything. We're probably gonna head to wherever I can get a cocktail because I need one. We've been just sitting for hours. We got a little, a lovely meal here. We got a few different things. We got a Chardonnay, a beer. I got a gin and tonic. <laughs> and then food. All right. Starting light. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Okay, it's good I didn't make it too strong because the lime, I don't have lime. <laughs> I can't tell if this looks really good or really questionable. <laughs> what do you think? I'm excited to eat though. How's your grilled cheese? Bread. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> bathroom break we just say we went to our seats put our food down i found this lounge in the train like <laughs> so random in coach and i'm thinking what if i do a get ready with me for tiktok in here that would be so funny maybe i will go to tiktok see if i did it i'm gonna go back up to my seat i have a stromboli i'm gonna eat it's like cheesy bread and some marinara it's a snack i'm so hungry <laughs> my other gin and tonic and then i'm gonna edit some vlogs and just try to like focus it's gonna be dark soon so there's not much else i can do like everybody's gonna be sleeping including me so that's the plan for now and if anything changes you will know but it's all you can really do on an amtrak train like i don't i don't know i'm trying to make a vlog just out of a train trip but i didn't realize it would be so quiet like it's so quiet in there the dining cars like have more people chatting and stuff but up there where my seats are there was like nothing but the view is good it's really pretty
sorry for the movement. I'm on a train. I just woke up. Like, oh my god. Why are we moving so much? I'm in like this little lounge car that I found earlier. And there's a bathroom right here. There's like a vanity. So I'm gonna do a get ready with me for TikTok. We have like three and a half, four hours on the train. Maybe a little under. So I'm gonna get myself ready and probably get coffee, maybe food. The food was like going either way. Like it's not horrible, but it's not great. And some of it is like not the vibe, you know? It's a plan. Um, it's been a good experience. I slept like six and a half hours. Um, it's as comfortable as it can be. It's more comfortable than most planes because there's a lot more like, like economy, okay? Like there's a lot more leg room and all that. So that is a good thing. Um, that I'm grateful for because I am happy to get my sleep. And we were trying to decide if we're gonna drive today to Newport or tomorrow and like stay the night here if we were too tired. I have enough energy. I'm gonna check up with him and see. And I kind of hope we're driving today because I just want this over with, this whole travel. Like it's fun, of course, but like it's long, you know, so. That's my thought process. I will keep you updated. Yeah. Oh, let me show you what this looks like. We have the vanity situation. There are these little stools. This doesn't lock though. People have already come in on me, so. Um, a bathroom that does lock, this locks. And I'm just gonna get ready. I changed my clothes and everything, as you can see. I was, I felt disgusting, truthfully. Like I felt, so gross because I'm just like sitting in clothes for hours like no <laughs> Off we go again. Thank you. Thank you. You sure you got it? Yes. No, this pillow, not you. <laughs> oh shit, are you okay? All right. We're off the train. We've been sitting on this thing for the last like 15 hours. It feels good to breathe fresh air again. <laughs> There's no humidity here. Isn't that weird? <laughs> We're in Virginia, and we're trying to decide if we're gonna head straight to Rhode Island or if we're gonna not do that today. <laughs> we're gonna decide, <laughs> but we're ready to go. Either way. We're kind of on the road, so we decided we're going to drive to Rhode Island, which is just wild. Um, it's happening. We have like an eight hour drive, um, inc not including, sorry, stops for gas and to pee. So I'm going to try not to drink a ton of beverages, um, but we probably won't get there till around like 11 p.m. We're in Virginia currently, obviously DC. Um, it's so like nice here. <laughs> like, and also there's so many hills, maybe because I'm coming from Florida. I haven't seen hills in so long. I'm going to grab some coffee because it's now almost noon and I have not had coffee. Um, and I would really like a coffee. And we're heading on the road. I can't believe we're doing this. So I guess that's in this walk too. We're gonna 15 hour train ride and then we're driving all the way to Rhode Island. 
so weird to say Rhode Island out loud. Like, I always say, like, oh, I'm from there. Tell everybody I'm from there. But, like, I'm going there. Like, I'm going to be there. It's just so weird to say. Coffee has been secured, as well as the food. It's time for the road trip. just my mom and I. I was raised by a single mom and um, she's like my best friend and living away from her I've only seen her twice in the last year and I don't think like I've processed like fully that I'm gonna be living like 40 minutes away from her which is like that's like what my like commute was every day to work <laughs> in Florida and to like Rhode Islanders if you are from New England you understand this like having having anyone drive like 20 minutes is like especially in Rhode Island like it's like asking them to go on a fucking like day trip that's five hours away even though it's only like 20 minutes um and I just can't wait to see her so I just had to share that because like moving like it's all fun it's fun and I'm so happy I'm not like sad I'm happy but it's just so many emotions you know like so many different emotions and I am so happy and this is just one I wanted to share. Time has been like jumping around on the GPS. I think it's just because of like traffic farther along like near the cities probably because it's around noon right now so um I have a feeling we're gonna be driving pretty much this whole way to around New York and then we're gonna probably stop and eat dinner or something to try to avoid some of the New York City traffic. New York City traffic is actually insane. I'm terrified. I'm not terrified, but like, it's just a lot. <laughs> I've done it before, but just like, just gotta push through. The roads up north, I always forget, also side note, how horrible they are. Like, I, Rhode Island roads, they are terrible with the potholes and everything, but I started experiencing some of that here. Oh, we're in Maryland now. I don't know if I said that. I'm in Maryland, <laughs> I'm driving through Maryland. It's actually so green and luscious and so pretty here and full up, like, I have missed fresh air, <laughs> crisp air, it's just so nice. If you know anything about the 95 is that there's literally always road work everywhere all the time on the 95. Like that's half of like what takes so long I think to get anywhere. So much road work. well into it now but I guess I've only been driving for like mm, over two hours now coffee's finished oh little stretch of the legs on hour three huh hour three how you feeling <laughs> I love a rest stop especially on I-95 because it's literally attached to the highway like you just get on and get off not as bad as Florida. It's not, crazy. it's not as crazy yet. I mean, we're in Jersey. Did you see the sign? Yeah, yeah we're in Jersey, which is nice. 
I feel like I love driving up this side because I feel like we're just flying to the States. It makes me feel like things are going back faster yeah. than they are. You know? We're lucky. Uh, we're lucky the are That's what I was thinking too. I feel like we're doing pretty good with time. Like we're just like moving. We've had to stop a little, but not much. Yeah, because we start it at like eight and a half or something. Well, like seven and a half, but it kept jumping up to eight and a half. So we've been driving since like noon, right? Thank you. Have a good one. All right, you ready? How many more hours do you think we can hit before having to pee again? Three. Oh my God, then we're almost there. Can I open with one hand? Yes. Okay, I put my hair back. I ran to the restroom. Hair's in a claw clip right now. Um, Sunnies will be going on. I should not have worn a sweater. I am sweating, but the train was so cold. But I feel like I'm like, I smell. <laughs> oh, honestly, I'm just being real. I just have this fear of like smelling bad all the time. It's also because my perfume is like buried in my car somewhere in here. Um, but I got an iced coffee with oat milk, no classic. I used to drink this all the time, but I haven't in so long. So cheers. Oh, I love just an iced coffee. I haven't had an iced coffee in so long. We're heading back on the road. We're gonna try to hit another three hours before stopping again, if possible. We, we're at almost three hours right now. I don't think we're gonna hit the full three if I'm being honest, but that's the goal. Um, so now it's just like pushing through. Like I'm, I'm wondering when we're gonna hit New York because it says we're supposed to arrive in Newport at like 8.30 p.m. still, but that, that has not been updated for like rush hour traffic, so we'll see. Um, but I really hope we don't hit too much. We're gonna try to stop and see my mom but she might not be out of work and we've been like traveling so much. I might just see her another day this week. We'll see. You will know when I know. Also, look how bad this is. I need a new one, but she's hanging on, so. <laughs> There is something like so special about the New York skyline. I don't know what it is. I think it's just cause like we've seen movies and like it's just so iconic. Like as much as like people hate that city, I just, I love it. I can't believe I'm like staring at the skyline right now. What the heck? We just stopped for gas. I forgot Jersey pumps your gas. Like the guy was like not letting me do it. And then I realized I'm still in Jersey. I'm like right on the New York border. Um, we've like gone around this city, but we're still in Jersey, if that makes sense. So we have to still go over the bridge and stuff, but we're like, we're getting there. We're like trying to hustle now because we're trying not to be stuck in traffic. I grabbed myself this like random little like juice situation and a little packet it's very banana bliss so i don't know when or when or if we're stopping for dinner we're kind of just like going for it The GPS took me a different exit than it took my boyfriend. So now we're on completely different highways. He's supposed to get there before me, but it's saying I'm gonna be in a, over an hour traffic. Oh, he's calling me now. Let's see what's happening. So what's your, what is your arrival time saying right now? 8.59. Mine is 8.51. What's your, um, how, many, how much time left? Three hours, two minutes. Two hours, 54. Okay, Miles so. 148. 
Mine's 149. <laughs> so I just have a little more traffic, but it's the same distance. We're gonna have to end up on the same highway though, because it's we're gonna be on 95. There's like one highway that runs through. Oh, I'm entering Connecticut. Like through Connecticut. Like I said, always working on 95.